How's it going, everybody? I'm your host, Good Afternoon with Packass TCG, and this is part three of the Secret Layer Super Drop series, where I'll be finishing off the rest of the box with Mother's Day 2021. It was one of those uh, kind of added is throw it in for moms, make it look good. It's kind of like the Black History Month, where the one they did that there. Ooh, Mother of Runes. It's not a bad card. Ooh, another pretty island. Whoa. There's a lot going on. It's a mill. That's cool. It's like a mill, a brain mill for water. That's kind of neat. This is the non-foil edition of the Mother's Day cards. Mother of Runes. Very good looking card right here. Another Mother of Runes. Another very good looking card right here as well. It should be all Mother of Runes, right? Ooh, that's probably my favorite so far. It like, reminds me of like kind of classic Frenchy look to it. Nice. It look really, really good. Surprise. Like I said in the last video, uh, I kind of forgot what all these look like. So this is as much a surprise it is to me as it is for you. At least I hope it's a surprise for you. Got Mother of Runes there. And it, ooh, we got a mountain now. This kind of gives me the uh, Almond Cat vibes. Hmm. Not really super impressed with that one. Now let's get this out of here nice and gentle. Just give a little tug on the side. And a little tug on this side. There we go. See, that's much better. See, I honestly did not know that all these cards were going to be Mother of Runes. But now I know. Ah, the foil looks really good at that card. I hope it's this third one looks really good. Oh, it actually doesn't look as a non-foil. Interesting. I want to say the first one looks the best in foil. Hmm. Well, now, hopefully this is going to be my favorite. It is the Saturday morning D&D, &D, which is in big bubbly letters. Thank you for buying Secret Lair. Huh. So, uh, I've seen it before. I'm a huge fan of D&D. &D. Um, it's a very big shame that... Uh, AFR was such a bad set because I really like D and D and I hope it would take go somewhere, but it doesn't. Wow, that is. Jeez, Louise, that is a card. All right. Uh, okay. Mhm. Mm I'm just gonna let that. Yep. That's that's a card. Crash through. Mhm. Mm I'll, wow. Unbreakable formation. Let's get a good look at these here. Wow. World of Invention. This kind of gives me uh, uh, vibes of, well, kind of like He-Man. That's what it is. Kind of like a He-Man-esque hero's downfall. Impact Trimmers. Cards are actually kind of cute, I'll give them that. Primal Viger. Vigor. And then Commander Sphere. Yeah, these are like, uh, they're cute. I'm not going to say they're the best art ever, but they're definitely cute. Uh, the Crash Through, that is that is something else. <laughs> well, uh, uh, you know, I I think the, the best card in this so far, oh yeah, there it is in foil. Yep, it sure is. It is. It is there. You, I think you dropped the ball there, wizards. The other cards are kind of cute. That is. That's just no. You dropped the ball there, wizards. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Tyler Warple. Uh, nothing against your art. I just. Uh, I don't think that belonged on a card. No offense to you. Uh, your Unbreakable Formation, however, is really nice. I think the foil of this is outstanding. World of Innovation. Here is Downfall. Yeah, these look much better in foil. Impact Tremors. Primal Vigor. And Commander Sphere. 
And for the last of the installation, I don't know whether or not these are in foil or not. Um, they look different. So I'm gonna assume this is the non-foil and this is the foil just because there's different letters. So there's a little bit of a, what's the word for it here? Conspiracy with this, because there is a card in here that's printed backwards and it's serialized. It has numbers out of it. Uh, they're selling for a very, very high rate, uh, you know, in terms of price. So we're going to see if we get them. And it looks like we got the Swamp. I think it's typically in this slot right here. It's the Phyrexian text. And I do apologize for not knowing the card names. Uh, if I remember anything, I'll, I'll try to say it, but I don't remember everything. Okay, we, at least we got some good uh, good mythics. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the Phyrexian thing. Oh, uh, that's the the. Oh, what's her name? It's a, it's a Spider Queen, obviously, but I can't remember what her name is. I have no idea what that is. It's kind of like a Meyer. And that's like the card from Kaldheim. Uh, oh no, it's like the vicious Viger Beast or something like that. I can't quite remember. And so then this is the, I assume the foil edition, because it's one of either. And here's the opportunity to be much more valuable, because there's that chance to get the serialized card. And so we're gonna see it in three, two, one, and we got another swamp, which is fine. I'm not upset about that. Very good looking cards. I'm assuming that if you try to go look for that valuable card, uh, they're going to be sold out probably everywhere. People on a hunt for it, and I'm going to say that those people that opened up theirs probably opened up, if they got lucky, they opened up one or two, um, but I'm going to say people probably opened up 10 or 20 of these things just try to get that lucky card. And the foil of these looks really, really good. Very clean foiling. Very, very nice. Um, and for those who are curious, um, I believe it's something Seer is the, the card. And like it said, it's printed backwards. So the letters appear backwards. Um, it's all in the wrong spot. And right here, there's serialized numbers. Um, any number from uh, 1 to 100. And I'll believe the ones I've seen so far are 77, uh, 14. And I think I saw a 17. I'm not sure. Uh, 77 was the first one to appear. It caused a lot of hoopla in the collector's market. I believe that sold for 5,000. And I think 14, I'm pretty sure it's 14 was the other one. I think 14 was, had a buy, buy it now price of, I think 2,300. And it was like bidding right around that $1,500 area. And I think the 17, I'm not sure on the 17, uh, but the third one was bidding for right around 1200 to start the bids with $5 increments. And I'm not sure if that's closed yet. So for sure, there are three out there that people have seen. And it does hold some value, uh, obviously. It actually holds more value than pretty much you can buy the entire set three or four times over if you manage to find one. Uh, I don't recommend you go out there and try to buy 20, 30 of these boxes, just try to get that one. Uh, the price is probably gonna be really, really inflated because people are searching for those cards. So I would go with the air of caution. If you have the kind of money to go buy 20 secret layers and search for the one card, be my guest. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you no, obviously. I would just be cautious as there's no guarantee you're going to get it. As I opened up two, I didn't get one. So maybe if you open up 10, you might get one. Maybe if you open up 20, 30, 50, I'm not sure. And there's actually no telling there might, there might not even be any more out there. Uh, some people do keep their secret layers closed permanently. I like to open mine. I like to see the cards. It's like, you know, oh, I want to see this mountain. That's, you know, very reminiscent of Almond Cat era. I want to see those cards. I want to see, I want to look at them. I want to be able to look at them in the, their sleeves and binders and everything. So just my take on it. Again, be cautious if you're going to be hunting for that chase card or chase card, the card that does 
not supposed to exist either way. As always, stay safe out there. Have a great day. Peace.